Hey guys, it's Supreme here, and today we are doing the 16th episode of my devlog series for my game called Displacement. Uh, here is the enemy we're adding in, and we've got quite a few updates uh, the last two weeks, so I'm going to be talking about them today. Let's stop that because it's just a bit distracting for one. But basically, these are all animations of the same uh, same monster. This was actually got I actually got this free off of uh, the Epic Games Store. It was one of the free assets, which is insane. But basically, what I've got to do for this is blue uh, create a blueprint and code it so that it does for ex certain actions. So, for example, a sec. For example, if I'm on the this thing's left it turns around to face me or if it's in the air and it wants to drop down and attack me with a land attack it does that what i've got to do for this is code it in so one of its attack will be like a flame breath and i'll have like a part particle effect coming out of it which is like a flamethrower and if that touches me a certain amount of health will go but basically that's that's how it is uh this uh monster will probably the one cha be the one chasing the if you didn't know this was like a this map is supposed to be a racetrack this will probably be the one chasing the um chasing the car but there'll also be a bit where there's a skirmish beforehand as you can see i've added an ak over there uh you know there's going to be some interesting kind of funny stuff it's not just straight up like you know do this do this it's uh you have to figure stuff out and it'll be a bit stealthy a bit puzzly there'll be multiple things that you can do and you know can do differently but let's show you some other stuff uh, another thing is if you haven't seen the base map here's what it looks like it was in the thumbnail if you saw that so here's the base map and basically what I'm planning to do now is have well we we'll always plan to do this but basically there are multiple areas so so like for example you go up here there's a certain thing that happens there you go over here to the gas you can go into like this vine thingy and you can also go into the cave and each one presents a totally different challenge and a totally different genre of games so one's a low poly race another one will be a survival like wintry survival game the horror game will be like in a cave and then this would i'm i'm gonna make it to the platformer some of the ideas are less worked on so let's show you the cave as well just to get you if you you haven't seen the cave before it doesn't have a roof on it currently but here's what the cave looks like currently i haven't obviously done it fully but um and then obviously on top of that like you so here's what it'll actually kind of like look like when you're walking around i'm gonna like have a give the character a lantern and basically whenever it's one of those wind up ones you run out of light every so often and the monster gets attracted by the sound and you have to wind it up and it's slightly loud let's say but yeah so that's what i've done in the game and then there's some other updates too so let's just minimize this screen and so basically i had a website called salt brahim it's doing quite decently actually one of my blogs uh some reasons why i think the epic games store will beat the beat steam uh it's doing quite well it's getting a good decent amount of uh uh, you know reads and stuff because well I'm doing it from a marketing perspective so it's slightly different take and then also person I'm branding myself more personally I'm gonna be changing my channel art soon enough I've changed my actual thingy name from Salt Brahim to Ibrahim Mustafa also views have been just went straight up after I uh, uploaded yep 1k views yay but after I uploaded this you know, views has been going up quite a bit, and also my last video. Uh, well, I'm going to change that one to this one. But you know, if you want to watch the past video, check it out because it's got some pretty cool stuff in it. But it's got a decent amount of views. Everything's climbing right now because I'm doing my. I'm being a lot more serious with my uh, how I push it. And then obviously, I'm going to make a new website. I'm not going to really have a blog in it. I've decided I'm just going to have it like a, as a two pager. So what is the home page and everything and then the second maybe maybe a three pager but like the second one might be about and about me and then the third one will be like a contact or a pr kit for 18 tabs what uh a pr kit for um 
uh, you know, people who are like if they want to write about the game or whatever, just to make it easy for them. And then the last thing is the Patreon. So I'm thinking of setting up a Patreon. I'm not well, I yeah, I am because it's very hard to kind of finance the game, and I'm gonna be like it's just getting harder and harder. And I may have to uh, kind of slow it down. I I want to go full time with it, so that's you know my kind of thought process there is if I set up a Patreon and offer you guys a lot more like for example uh, tips because there are going to be multiple options like in a true ending so if you guys want to know stuff like that if you want exclusive merch for the start of the thing if you want up to like proper updates well more uh, updates more often and certain videos you want like I could do those uh, it'd be a lot easier if you request it through Patreon and it's not like I'm like telling people like to support the game and this and that it's just if you have some spare money every month I'd appreciate it uh, you know just kind of like how normal Patreon works and it's one of those things where it's like obviously if I'm taking from you guys I'm going to be giving back more hopefully and you guys can give your th feedback on that too uh, you know I just oh this looks a bit odd uh Hmm. Wasn't expecting that. Let's just boop boop boop. There we go. That's beautiful now. Just look at that. We're already making progress. Apart from that, I'm thinking, since I'm going more with the personal branding, I'm thinking during my devlog videos, I'm gonna record them like at the like record what I do as I do it so I don't forget and stuff. Cause it's like I put off making them so much because it's just like um what have I done? And on top of that, I'm thinking of doing like having like a face cam thingy. So when I'm talking to the screen and like instead of you looking at this and me just flying around it and I feel like it's quite annoying. I'm going to be like just speaking to the camera when you don't need to see this instead. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions or anything or any advice or, you know, just tell me how the game's looking or, you know, anything you'd uh, think should be added to it. If you want to know more about the game. The last video I explained quite a lot about that. It'll be on one of the end cards. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great day. Uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. Uh, oh, well, obviously I haven't set up a Patreon yet. But, you know, check it out when it does come out. And uh, yeah, see ya.